moving on. Um, now let's talk about someone who has no shame in their game when it comes to being sexy. Mike Itkiss, a man running for New York Congress, released his own sex tape that he refers to as a conversation piece for his congressional campaign to show his support for legalized sex work. He said, uh, if I would just talk about it, it wouldn't demonstrate my commitment to the issue. What do you think about this story, Congressman? Are we, we're we in a weird time right now, aren't we? Al, what do you think about this? What is going on? What is going on in American mm -hmm. politics is all I can think about with this story. Donald Trump has definitely ushered in a whole new narrative as it relates to the political landscape in America. Politicians are now shock jock guys. That's exactly what they are. They're shock jocks. And and this particular guy, it did the fact that he actually, you know, I had to watch the video. In the beginning of the video, he's sitting there with the sex worker talking about his stance as it relates to sex workers and talk about the importance of, of what they do and it not being legislated or ruled against. And then they go into the sex act. This is the most insane thing I've ever witnessed in my life. But I'm going to tell you what. I promise you, I think he might win from this nonsense. And that's just how things are rolling out. Just like I think Herschel Walker is still in the game as it relates to him and, and his, his candidacy in Georgia. We are in dark times right now. Q, what you think about this? And, um... I, I look at that man, I'm like, who the hell want to see Uncle Fester naked? <laughs> Al, Al, was it big? <laughs> was it? The hell are you over there giggling for? Answer the damn question. The way he's giggling, I'm saying right. I think he's impressed. <laughs> right. <No. laughs> Al, you so childish. You're supposed to be an adult show. <laughs> so listen, Claudia, why he over there getting himself together? I oh um, my God. you know the, the the one thing that was going through my mind was you know how you have single issue voters and <laughs> single issue like candidate, like you running on a Everything that's going on in the world, COVID, monkeypox, inflated housing prices, you know, racism, da, 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 da. this is your, you, you put all your campaign attention and donations into buying this sex worker and making this tape. To me, this is someone that knows he's not going to win. That's like, you know what? I'm going to have fun. I raised a few thousand dollars. Let me just go ahead and use it on this commercial. Just have a little fun. Because there's some people that are just doing some wild stuff in these campaigns. Politics, I will say this, has become quite entertaining, right? Like, right. I don't, I'd be scared that they would be legislating for us. But he probably, it's probably, a, there's people that really have this stuff on their bucket list. Like, right. eh, I want to run for office. Well, you know, he, he tried to tie it in, Q. He tried to tie it into, um... Um, legalizing pro -life, sex work pro life right. pro life pro choice and all, that whole thing i just think it I didn't think it was a now, I, now, now you know what i didn't like his stance on pro life pro life pro choice and we could talk about that at a later date but i'm i, I you know what I, i'm going to be honest with you i am liberal enough in my thinking where this is all right with me i like my politicians being regular people like, I don't like this fake pulled up church lady act that they all put on. I like to know that my politicians go home, drink brown liquor and cuss. I like to know that they whoop their kids. Oh, wow. I like, I like to know that they, you know what I'm saying, eat fried chicken and soul food and, and listen to blues music on Sundays with their family in the backyard. I like my politicians being regular people. I like to know that they hunch. Um, I, I, I like, I like it. I, 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 now this is an extreme, but I wish more politicians would be regular people like mm. Nancy Pelosi. We know you smoke the reaper. We, oh. know you, we know you go home and smoke reaper. You was, you, you was, you was in your prime during the sixties. We know you smoke the reaper and drain Hennessy. We know. <laughs> Well, and you school black men. Hey, mm -hmm. Q. <laughs> Q. Oh, your best friend, please. That is a Italian American woman. That's oh, she, oh, she definitely like the black men <laughs> <laughs> and, and smoke the reefer.